Hey, so I got my son with me. We out here about to meet up with one of my mentors today. Um, hey, it don't matter, you know, how old, you know, the mentor is, you know, like this mentor, he's mentoring me in, um, in real estate right now. So uh, he's not too old. He's a little bit older than me, but he's about to uh, show me how to make this money. So I suggest everybody out there to get them a mentor and whatever field they're trying to get off into to um, show them the ropes. So that's what I'm trying to do with you guys when it comes to trucking. I'm trying to show a lot of you guys how to make this money. And now I'm about to go meet up with one of my mentors who's about to show me how to get off in this real estate. And he's um, he just had flipped a home. So I'm about to go do a walkthrough of his house. What's up, son? You off in this new flip we got going on? Hey, so I got uh, my homeboy with me, Q. Contrail over here. Hey, so I was telling you guys about him. Basically, man, I consider him my mentor now. Like I always tell you guys out there, you have to go find a mentor, especially when it comes to uh, something that you want to do, man, and when it comes to making money out here. So um, he's my mentor when it comes to real estate, and that's what um, I'm trying to get off into because it's a lot of money, man. I'm seeing him. He's getting to it, too. <laughs> he been out here getting to it. He been showing me a lot of different methods and ways of getting money out here when it comes to real estate. Hey, so I just want to kind of introduce him real quick. Then he's going to take us for a little walkthrough of a little flip. All right, so um, I'm going to just inter introduce him real quick and let him pretty much give his little story on how he um, got off into flipping. So uh, here you go, man. Go ahead. Just pretty much just where you from? Yeah. So uh, my name is Quantrell, uh, last name Turner, from Fort Wayne, Indiana. You from know. Fort Wayne. Yes, sir. Not too far from Indianapolis. Yes, the 260. Yep. Uh, <laughs> where uh, you graduate? The Circle City. Oh, no, the Circle City, three, City of Three Rivers. <laughs> where you graduate from? Purdue. Obviously. Yeah, I see it. So yeah, you graduated from Purdue University and... Um, after Purdue, what you end up doing after yeah, you graduate? I got my master's in uh, from Indiana Wesleyan, and um, and my MBA, and uh, and then also um, I worked for uh, Bison Financial Group for a couple of years, uh, where I was associate um, advisor with the Bison and Lafayette, Indiana. Um, so I worked with uh, stocks and bonds and things like that, and then uh, you know eventually uh, moved out to Phoenix for a couple of years. Uh, just in 2008, during a downturn, it just kind of Wanted to do something different. I worked with a, uh, a real estate company where we bought properties. We bought bad assets. When everybody else was running from stuff, we bought stuff. So we, um, what's called short sales. It's not a lot of them going on today. But that's when I learned that you want to buy when everybody else is selling. There you go. Uh, so I bought, I, I worked with a guy by the name of Doug McCabe out of Phoenix, Arizona. Super, super successful guy. He got a son. Um, Doug Jr. also, and uh, these guys do wonderful, wonderful business. They got government contracts and buying short sale properties. But they taught me the um, the model of buying low and then selling high. So when I came back to buying Indy, low, selling high. Yeah, you know, when, <laughs> when everybody else is running away from the market or running away from a property, you got to jump in. There you you go. know, I, I never go into a market where it's already saturated or where everybody's already at. Yep. Yeah, there's there's no money in where everybody's already sitting. You know, you got to find a trend or you got to find whatever is low that you can sell and buy high. There you go. Yeah. So and then so when I came back to Indy, um, I took that same model. Uh, I was just kind of uh, working and trying to find in. I moved into this neighborhood called uh, Mapleton Fall Creek. And I realized that there was a ton of vacant properties. But they were big, nice homes. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, I came up on a steal. I started, I was doing what's called wholesaling, meaning that you buy, um, you get properties under contract and you sell your contract to an investor. Yeah, and then you, you, <laughs> you never actually own the property, but you contractually own the property. Yeah. Not owning nothing, but making money, huh? No, nah, half these properties, <laughs> half the properties I wholesale, I've never even been to. There you go. Um, so I just kind of get them under contract. Once you know the areas, you buy them, you get them under contract, put some earnest money down, and you either sell the property and then you assign your contract or you double close it. So I just made a lot of money doing wholesale deals. I think in 2017, I did 55 wholesale deals. Mm. Uh, 2018, I did 42. Nice. Uh, so I've done over 100 wholesale deals in the last two years. Um, and so, But I got into the flip because I found a property for 35000 um, it was ha an investor started doing it. He didn't have no permits or anything. City put a work stop work order on it. 
he freaked out and um, a wholesaler sent it to me. And mm -hmm. instead of wholesaling it, which I probably could have made five to 10,000 on it, I bought the property and I, I bought it for 26,000. So I came in 9,000 under asking price. Um, but it already had a new siding, new windows, electrical ran. It already, it already was gutted. It already had, it had great bones. Mm -hmm. um, we bought it. We put about eighty in it, and we sold it for one ninety nine on the first day. Hey, yeah. Well, what I want to do real quick is just have him walk us through this flip that he just uh, flipped. So he just gonna walk us through and just show us, you know, a few things and put us up on a little bit of game when it comes to flipping property. So. Yeah, there's a little bit about this home. It's in the winter Butler Tarkington area. We're about a quarter of a mile from Butler University. So it's five minutes walk to Butler University right up the street. Um, it's a three bedroom, two bath ranch house. Okay. Um, it's 1462 square feet. Okay. Uh, two car garage. It's a huge backyard. Um, hardy siding, brand new roof, electrical, brand new plumbing, brand new furnace, electrical, I mean gas furnace. Um, everything in here is energy efficient. We got all, nothing but LED lights. So mm. you don't have any light bulbs. All these are LED lights that you will never have to change. So you can walk us yeah. through. So, so you're we, gonna walk us through real quick. Yeah, a little bit about this. We gutted this house down to the studs. I bought this house and it had a hole in the roof. Um, so when we bought it, it had a hole and it didn't have this floor plan. So we opened it up, and so when you walk into the house, everything is there when you first walk in. So right now, this is the front door. So when you first walk in the front door, you're in the living room. You're in the dining room, and you're in the kitchen. Yep. Everything is all It's all open. open. Yeah. We got 14-foot uh, ceilings. So we vaulted the ceilings, uh, LED lights. Uh, 14 and all stainless steel appliances, brand new. Everything is unused, um, the dishwasher. Granite countertops, uh, white, nice white, uh, bright cabinets. It's a, a 12 by 14 bedroom, nice size, with a uh, walk-in closet. Um, we put carpet in the bedrooms for that feel. What's up, son? I gotta go. What's up? I gotta go to work in the model. <laughs> <laughs> that boy show sure love going to work, don't he? <laughs> yes, yeah, so we got original, we got hardwood floors. So throughout this whole thing, these are engineered hardwood. We got a full bathroom right off of here. Everything in there new. The tile, new everything. Um, so full bathroom there. Looking nice. Uh, marble. Second bedroom. This is like a kid's bedroom. It's a 12 by 10. Uh, it's not huge, but it's going to be an office or a, bed, a kid's bedroom with still another walk-in closet uh, in there. You know, so this is bedroom number two right off the master. So this is like a good kid's room, all right. you know, or office space, whatever you wanted to do. And then this is where all the, all the magic happens, <laughs> the master. Yeah. So we got the barn door. Um, this is 14 by 16. Huge master yeah. with a walk-in closet, with a killer uh, bathroom. Yeah, you know, and so tell them uh, this house. This house ain't look like this. Nah, <laughs> nah, man. This house was destroyed. It had yeah. a hole in the roof. Yeah, it rained in this house for two years. So we replaced all the floor joists. Uh, we had to pour dirt in the crawl space. So, but the crawl space underneath is waterproof. It's uh, mold proof. Uh, we had the all new floor joists. Everything in this house. The, it's all it's pretty much a brand new house yeah um you know and then you got a killer master suite with the barn door uh, and everything in here you know you got we took got the same granite from the kitchen with the uh the uh nice uh the, the nice child yeah. you got the open shower with the fall down uh fire thing huge shower you can definitely fit two people in there yeah so it's how we get down Hey, so so this is definitely a big motivator right here. What you got it on the market for? So right now it's two thirty four nine hundred. So for a three two over here, that's that's pretty decent over here for fourteen sixty one for a ranch. Yeah. Uh, with the two car garage, we got the deck on the back too. We want to step right there. So you got about this is about one hundred twenty feet to the garage. So you got a huge backyard. Yep. You can put your dog back here and go crazy. You put your Corvettes back there. <laughs> Park them in the so, garage. It's a hot area too. This yeah. is one of the hottest areas in Indianapolis right now. Butler talking it with the Hardy Sardi. Yep. It's last a hundred years at least. Yep. You know, so 
That's so, about so, it. So we definitely going to tell y'all after he sell, give y'all the breakdowns on the numbers just so you guys could get a little bit more motivation because I know those numbers is motivation. Yeah. But right now we only could tell you how much he's selling it for. Yeah. <laughs> we'll tell you the final product at the end. <laughs> yep, yep. So I'm about to say, man, I mean, you got anything else to put out? Any more knowledge or anything, man? Man, it's just if, when it comes to real estate, uh, stick to what you know. Yeah. You know, don't, don't, get in your, don't get out of your comfort zone because... You will see a lot of ads on like uh, people making X amount on flips and stuff. Half that stuff don't be true. Yeah. You know, stick to neighborhoods you know and, and things you know. Yeah. I always recommend wholesaling before you do any flips. Yeah. Because at least you can you can learn neighborhoods. You can learn the buying and the selling process. And then once you get good at that, you get a flip. You get a team. You know, you get investors. And then you can start flipping properties. You, HGTV has confused a lot of people. <laughs> hey, and that's TV, not true. man. That's yeah. TV, man. Reality TV, man. A lot of that stuff ain't real. Yeah, it's like most of that stuff is staged. Yeah. And it's, you know, and, and honestly, the, the, the channels give people money. Yeah. You know, you don't know. You don't see all that. Man. Right. Yeah, so, you, live, yeah. You, you live in real life, so you got your horror stories and you got your good stories. Oh, man, I'm dealing with contractors now. <laughs> so it's, it's a headache. Yep. Hey, so he definitely just um gave us a little bit of game, gave me more knowledge today. Hey, so we definitely going to be coming back doing part twos, part threes, and, and so on, you know, because like I say, man, this my guy, man. This this my mentor now <laughs> when it comes to this real estate. And, um, hey, like I always tell you guys out there, find you a mentor, find you somebody that's doing something that you want to do and that, hey, people like him, he's willing to share. Yeah. You know, so I'm the same way. I'm willing to share my knowledge. He's willing to share. And in return, we're going to be blessed. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. So, yeah, everybody out there, be great.